In this video, we're going to discuss how to apply the GamePad firmware update, which will allow haptic feedback while playing your favorite Zakaria or Taito pinball tables. I'll also show where you can find a written guide that you can use to follow along with the steps mentioned in this video. And finally, most of the system settings have been documented and we'll take a brief look at that as well. I'm John, and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. Before we get into the update procedure itself, I want to provide a few important notes. First off, the haptic or rumble feature only works with Zakaria and Taito pinball tables. Haptics is not supported for Farsight or Gottlieb tables, however, it is being worked on. Once the update is applied, there is not currently a setting to disable it. This may change in the future, but at present, there's not a setting to turn it off. Gamepad Haptic Feedback is supported on the Legends Ultimate, Legends Ultimate Mini, Gamer Pro, Gamer Mini, Core, and Core Plus. Haptic Feedback with the Gamepad is not currently supported on the Legends Pinball. I have personally only tested and documented this feature for use with the Legends Core. Next, let's go over how to update your Legends Gamepad with the Haptics feature. Just in case you've not paired your gamepad before, I'll demonstrate how to pair the gamepad to the Legends Core shown here. You'll start by pressing the green at games or menu button and the X button, holding them both at the same time until the third LED starts blinking rapidly. Then, on the Legends Core, single press the wireless button on the device to bring up the wireless pairing menu. Single press the wireless button until you have highlighted the Legends gamepad you wish to pair. Once highlighted, simply press and hold the Legends Core wireless button until the gamepad vibrates, and the third LED is a solid red color. At this point, the gamepad and the Legends Core are paired, and you can navigate the menus using the Legends gamepad. Next, we'll navigate over to the Settings tab until we see the version tile. In order to update the Legends gamepad to utilize the haptic feedback, you will need to be running firmware version 5.650 or higher on your Legends device. If you need more information on how to do that, please see the link in the description below. Now we'll navigate to the Legends Gamepad Update tool and press the A button on the controller. We will then be prompted, do you want to update the Legends Gamepad? Highlight the Yes button and press the A button on your controller. The update process will now begin. The first two indicators will turn green fairly quickly, indicating the gamepad is connected and the download is available. However, the install progress indicator will take some time to update the gamepad firmware. Please be patient as the process will take about 4 minutes and 30 seconds. When the update is done, the gamepad will turn off and you will see a dialog on the Legends device indicating that the update is complete. However, the controller will not be immediately available to the Legends device. Power on the Legends gamepad by pressing the menu button. You will see all four LEDs turn on, then only the first. Press and hold the menu button again to turn it off. Repeat this process two times. That is, you'll want to turn it on, then off, then on, and off, and then you want to put the device in pairing mode by pressing and holding the menu button and the X button at the same time until the third LED blinks rapidly once more. Then single press the wireless button on the Legends Core and the two will once again be paired. You can then press the B button to go back and navigate the menus as we did earlier. If you need further assistance or prefer to follow along with the written guide, visit wagnerstechtalk.com forward slash AL settings. In the table of contents, select Pair the Legends Gamepad, and the guide will step you through the process. The Apply Gamepad Firmware Update section will also describe all the steps we just performed. On the Games menu, select a game on the list and then press the Menu button. On the left-hand side, we'll go into the Platforms category and select Taito Pinball Volume 1. We'll then select Frontline and try out the new Gamepad Haptics feature. I'll place the gamepad on the desk and lightly press the flipper buttons so you can hear when the haptics kick in.
I also want to mention on the AL settings guide, you'll also find detailed information regarding the settings available for your Legends product. I do intend to expand on this section with more information, and I hope you find it helpful in learning more about what your device is capable of. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please do me a favor and click that like button. If you'd like to see more from Wagner's Tech Talk, please click the subscribe button below. And with that, I will talk to you again very soon.